Mortar is a man killer. During the war, German mortars caused more frontline casualties than any other single weapon. The German infantry division had nearly 100 medium and heavy mortars. Their light weight and simplicity made it easy for positions to be changed quickly. <laughs> yeah. And the observer had direct control of fire. Countering the mortar is a real problem. These two detachments have just brought their 81 millimeter mortars into action to deal with a special target. In the next valley, there's a British working party. Seven three two five one nine five. Good. Height twenty meters. Yes, that matches our mortar and the report from the box. Crack down on it. It gives them airburst too. To twelve medium, six heavy, thirty-five heavy egg axe. Bombard how my dog four. Trip target. Eighty one one nine charge two. Touch it out. Fuse two three point seven five. Three rounds, jump fire. Fuse two three point seven five. Signal at ten bombard warning order now. Hello, all stations, Baker 1. Get on, Victor! Fire! Oh, 
Wrong bar to start. Wrong bar to start. Wrong bar. First bar. GM office. One moment, sir. See you on the bus. GM out here. Sorry to bother you, but Han Mort was giving tea company at that time. I'm also a passenger in that lady. Can you do something about it? I just shot them up for the GM group, sir. That should keep them quiet. Thank you, sir. That's the job of the counter mortar officer. To do something about hostile mortars, even to anticipating infantry calls for help. His two basic problems are location and retaliation. With his clerks, he must collate information obtained from every possible source so that he can hit back effectively. His method of doing this depends upon the policy laid down by his CRA. The first problem is location. A certain area is being plastered. We know that the high trajectory of mortars enables them to be tucked away behind hills. Where are they? Here? Here? Or here? Mortars may be sighted in the most out-of-the-way places, such as this quarry. In a static position like this, the mortar detachments have deep shelters. The mortars themselves will be well hidden. Mortars may be concealed behind buildings. This makes visual spotting difficult, if not impossible. On firing, comparatively little smoke is produced, and the sound of discharge is low. That's why special methods of location have been developed. The first and fundamental method is sound bearings from listening posts. The limited number of posts provided by the counter mortar organization is backed up by reports from forward observation posts of all other arms, especially infantry. There are two instrumental methods, the lightweight sound ranging system, especially adapted for counter mortar work, and radar. Other sources of information are used mainly to confirm locations. For instance, the examination of craters. The size of the bomb fin gives the caliber of the mortar. The shape of the crater shows the direction from which the bomb was fired. And measuring the angle of descent indicates the range. Then there are the air photographs already annotated by APIS. That's the Army Photographic Interpretation Section. Valuable information is obtained from infantry sources, infantry patrols, and the interrogation of prisoners. Civilians from behind the enemy lines may be helpful too. All these sources are coordinated by the counter mortar organization. Here's the layout. Just inside the FPLs are the listening posts. One is called the advanced post and starts the sound recording. Radar may be sighted to cover a different part of the front. These units pass their information to the counter mortar office at divisional headquarters. The system of intercommunication is the counter mortar net. The counter mortar office is the nerve center of the organization and has a separate wireless link to the supporting artillery. At brigade headquarters are the assistant counter mortar officers who are also on the counter mortar net. They deal with mortars in their own sectors on information from all sources, including infantry and gunner OP. To get a clear picture, let's examine the principles underlying the three main methods. Of these three methods, the first is the sound bearing. The listening post is in fact the basic source of information. When an LP observer hears a mortar fire, he takes a compass bearing to it. Bearings obtained at the other posts intersect at the mortar position. Like this. In effect, this is done in the counter mortar office. At least three rays are needed to get a reliable location. 
Sometimes a ray will pass through a previous location, suggesting that it's active again. The CMO may bombard it immediately. Sound rays are not always accurate, but a reasonable estimate can be obtained with the help of air photographs and maps. This is the actual area indicated by the rays just spotted, but it's practically in the middle of flooded fields. The only likely place for mortars is on the edge of the water. Just about here. Moreover, there is a track leading to the main road. Having made his decision and plotted the suspect location, the counter mortar officer can retaliate. Soon he may have a more reliable location reported from radar or from sound ranging. Sound ranging works like this. The headquarters of the sound ranging section is equipped, in this case, with the four pen recorder, which is connected to four microphones surveyed in on a base. The microphones must be surveyed in accurately, and whenever possible, this is done on a straight base, usually 1,500 meters in length. Irregular bases complicate film reading and should be avoided. Cables from the recorder are connected to each microphone. The microphone is then emplaced and covered with a windshield and loose earth as a protection from the weather. The sound recorder is switched on by a remote control at the advanced post out in front. When a mortar is heard, the observer in the AP starts the sound recorder. After passing the AP, the sound hits the microphones in turn. These transmit electrical impulses by cable to the recorder. In the recorder, there are four pens corresponding to the four microphones. A mortar sound makes each pen kick. This causes a characteristic break in the line. Other sounds produce breaks of a different shape. If the mortar is over to the left, the left-hand mic gets the sound first. If the mortar is to the right, the right-hand mic gets it first. And so on. The intervals between the four breaks depend on the different times at which the sound reaches each of the four microphones. The breaks are recorded, and the intervals between them can be read off, as timing marks have been made on the film. It is this time-interval relationship which gives away the mortal's position. CA minus 3-6. CB minus one one, TC minus one three, after being corrected for wind and temperature, the film readings are plotted to give a trisection. The coordinates are read off and the accuracy of the location is assessed. This information is passed to the CMO without delay. A point to remember is that the AP must be at least 800 meters in front of the microphone base. This ensures that the recorder is switched on before the sound reaches the microphone. Under good conditions, 
sound ranging is both quick and accurate. Radar employs an entirely different principle. Radar transmits a narrow beam of radio energy which searches over suspected hostile mortar areas. A mortar bomb passing through this beam reflects a part of it. This reflected energy is picked up by a sensitive receiver in the radar where the range and direction to the point of pickup are measured. The process is instantaneous. The radio beam can be compared to a searchlight lighting up the bomb. It is the bomb which is picked up and fixed, not the mortar. We can see this more clearly if we look at the ground in section. There is an enemy mortar position in the built-up area behind this hill. Once radar has fixed the bomb in flight, it is only necessary to correct back along the trajectory to locate the mortar. Radar must be screened behind rising ground. If the screening is too low, unwanted reflections will cause trouble like this. If the screening is too high, corrections become large and accuracy suffers. Good screening will enable the beam to avoid unwanted reflections without affecting accuracy. Thick cloud and heavy rain may seriously weaken the beam. This is a disadvantage of the radar method. The survey problem is comparatively simple as only the one position is involved. Listening posts covering the front allotted to radar pass immediate warning of mortar fire, direct to radar. The search can then be narrowed. Sound bearings used in this way enable radar to give particularly rapid locations and avoid mortars being missed. Different types of radar are used and the method of working varies in each case. This one, mounted in jeep trailers, is air portable. Other special lightweight sets are being developed. Here is a heavier and more elaborate equipment. This type automatically tracks the bomb in flight and the trajectory is drawn by an automatic plotter. Whatever type of radar is employed, the principles remain the same. Unlike sound ranging, the bomb is picked up in flight, and from its position, the location of the mortar is worked out. All these methods of mortar location are available to the CMO. Sound bearings from OPs and listening posts, sound ranging, radar, and the other sources. Remember? Immediate retaliation is the most effective. It should be brought down by the heavier weapon. Five fives, seven two hows, and three seven heavy ack ack guns. Air bursts are used whenever possible. The Corps commander through his CRA may form some of these heavy guns into a counter mortar group, which may be allotted to divisions. The divisional weapons 4-2 mortars and 25 pounders will often form the only basis of retaliation. Some of these will be at the call of ACMOs to carry out immediate retaliation. When the heavier guns are available, the CRA will strengthen the CMO's hand by giving him a call on them in addition to the divisional artillery. At each stage of the battle, the weight of retaliation will depend upon the policy laid down by the divisional commander through his CRA. The CMO, working directly under the CRA, will carry out this policy.
Good morning, sir. Ah, oh, there you are, George. Look, we're probably up against the enemy's main position. Is he busy with his mortars? Yes, sir. They're pretty active. We've got two listening posts deployed in each brigade front. And we've had a number of more trips from them. Also, some from the infantry. Yes, I thought as much. Right, retaliation policy active. Now, the CCRA has given me a call on one troop at 37 ACAC, one troop at mediums, and a battery of 72 hours at 15 rounds per gun. Now, they won't be in just yet. When they're ready, they will come up on your rear link. Right, sir. What can I use till then? We'll use 357 field, 10 rounds per gun. But try and use the 4-2 mortar too, if you can. Now, we'll probably put in a set piece of tack in about three days' time. And that'll mean taking this feature here. Yes, I see. Hill 20. Yes. Now, I want you to deploy four pen and radar to cover these likely areas. Yes, sir. And let me have all you can on enemy's mortars within 48 hours' time. We can then make a plan. Right, sir. As a result of these orders, the counter-mortar organization is now getting into action. Here's the sound ranging section setting up its headquarters. Surveying of the microphone base is nearing completion. Great you, Peter. You've got four pens sighted. Good work. Let me know when you're in action. Yes, radar are getting in now. During the divisional advance, the ACMOs at Brigade Headquarters have been bombarding active positions with the 25-pounders and 4-2 mortars. Brigade Major speaking. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Brigadier's still worried about these mortars. How are you getting on? Well, I've had one report from the bus, and I'm shooting on that now with 25-pounders and 4-2 mortars. Look, old boy, the battalion on the left are complaining now. Well, I haven't had a report from them, sir. Right, I'll see about that. Get me the adjutant, 4th 7th. See if the CMO can give us any more guns, will you? That you, Bertie. Look, old fellow, the Count of Mortar people haven't any reports from you. Yes. We must have more. Just a moment, sir. Let us see more, sir. My character. There's a lot of activity on the right from about 785-531. Can I use some heavy guns on it? Just a minute. I'll have a look. 785-531. Yes, two rays. This one's this is time. No, it needs confirmation. In any case, the CM group isn't in. Activity is widespread now, and both battalions are being stopped. Oh, I've just got more reports in at last. Can I have some more 25 pounders? Yes, have uh, Baker, Victor, Victor. But don't use more than scale one. Right, sir. Thanks. Baker 4, Roger out. Radar and action, sir. Good. At 7611. The full organization is getting into action. More accurate methods of location are now available.
Before long, hostile mortars will have to face full weight of the heavier gun. The divisional front is now stabilizing, and the counter-mortar organization is fully deployed. Now the CMO is ready to tackle any situation. One four two, I think. Bearing one four three degrees flat. Join me. That can't be far off C Company. Hello, base two. Warfare. Able. Figure zero nine. Take it two. Roger out. Take it two. One four three degrees. Take it two. One four three. Does so that give us anything? No, sir. I think it's a new one. Like one zero, Roger out. Four pen location. Four pen location. Seven nine five four five two six nine. Had to be able. Able seven nine five four five two six nine. Good enough. You're back. Right, perfect. Signal up. To uh, control medium, 6 heavy, 35 heavy AK. Bombard, oh my god, 45. The counter mortar battle gets into its full stride. To clear the way for a successful advance, the CMO cracks down on every mortar he can find. Take close, go, target. Two eighty one millimeters. Radar seven to zero. Bearing seven oh. Okay, now Bombard seven eight one five three eight five oh six. Dog three one eight oh seven seven five six one nine. Hello, Dog 4. Portrait. Able, figures 1035. How, figures 63. That's the one. Height 15181 millimeter. Radar 82. Fire! We've got about 40 in the last few days. Here's my task table. I think that'll do the trick. That's good. That's our attack as well. We'll never run out of them. 